absolutely amazing. Hey guys, welcome back to another hot day here in Sacramento. We got the G here in the middle of the garage. That is because today we are going to be installing our honeycomb carbon easy splitters. Uh, Hold up, repeat, repeat. Today we are gonna be installing our honeycomb carbon fiber side splitters. Now before you guys ask, there's already a buyer for it. But regardless, let's go ahead, go inside my house, they're inside. I repaired them. For those of you guys who don't know, here's the background story. Also, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up. It helps me out a lot, man. I really, really appreciate it. Get really close and show you the intricate details. Uh, this is actually not how they came, so I don't know what happened, but when I opened the box, one of the actual freaking wing pieces, this wing, it actually uh, came like separated from the actual splitter, so it came broken, right? That was obviously not the, you know, the company with easy splitters. That was, I'd, I'd assume it was a shipping issue, like, because these came really good package too, so I'm surprised. Price, man, I ordered the other ones and they came perfectly fine. So I don't know like what happened in this case Regardless, they gave me a pretty good option I can go ahead and repair this myself with the special glue Or I can send them back and wait like a month to get another one So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and repair it myself and they even gave me a, a Partial refund on my order. So huge. Thanks to easy splitters for just working with me and giving me that option So hugely greatly appreciated man And also one of the reasons why I took upon repairing this is because the special glue to actually that was used to to make these and make the carbon and stuff like that is called resin right and as you guys know i actually did uh my own carbon fiber like i actually did my own vents in my hood before before it broke but uh i actually ended up getting a little familiar with resin how it works and everything like that so i was like yeah i'm up for the challenge you know it's just a little freaking crease let's go ahead and fix it so basically right here this seam right here this this is where it cracked and as you guys can see i basically put resin i put resin to connect this piece to the side of this um, splitter so that already hooked up really good plus i added resin here on the seam kind of like a filler on top of it so it like really really secures it and then on top of that and on the bottom i even added more resin to even connect the piece even more and create that layer i don't want this piece falling in the freeway or anything i want it secure so i wanted to triple check myself and make sure that this piece is really really stuck to there as one piece so but without further ado these are the honeycomb easy splitters man these are absolutely amazing and not only does it have honeycomb carbon fiber there in the splitter it has it in the wing as well which is pretty freaking awesome bro i guess so the car is currently on jack stands we're gonna go ahead and see if we can remove the little screws here at the bottom And just like that is down. My God, it kind of looks weird just without the side splitter. Kind of got used to just looking at it, but like the side splitter just became part of the car. Like now without it, it, it looks naked. It looks naked, bro. All right guys, so right now we're measuring where the holes were at in my old splitter. And we're gonna try to replicate it in this one. Only thing that I would advise you guys is that this is carbon if you guys choose to get it. So it is like fiberglass compared to acrylic i think that is um i forgot where i saw this but a lot of people put like blue tape to try to prevent the carbon to create cracks when you drill the hole so hopefully this prevents it hopefully everything comes out clean simple So we just got done putting uh, one side, check it out, bros. Sheesh. Damn, I mean, look at the winglet, that's my favorite part, look at that. I'm just afraid with carbon fiber it's more delicate because it's like more like glass, like if it breaks, like it tends to crack and things like that. So like these get beaten up, like you can see my other ones, honestly, they don't look that beat up. Uh, you know what is gonna get beat up? When I get the front splitter like that. <laughs> Like even the rubber, the black rubber got freaking messed up. You can see where it got bent. This was my fault though. So we just finished installing it. We're here at work. Man, the car's gonna look so good once the hood comes back. 
But damn, check it out, y'all. Sheesh. Today is a brand new day. We're gonna be taking the G to a car meet. There's this uh, there's this Instagram page called Stand Series here in Sacramento, and they used to host very frequent meets, but uh, due to like the kind of like sideshow kind of things, they kind of like stopped doing meets for like a long period of time. So now they throw them every once in a while, and so t today is one of those days. So the G is not that dirty. Obviously, we don't have a hood, but everything else is looking clean, and the honeycomb carbon fiber is looking super nice. So without further ado. Let's get in the G. I'll catch you guys there at the meet. I gotta put first, I gotta put gas first, and then we'll head out to the meet. If the person you're trying to call is not coming out, either your girlfriend or your friend or your best friend, whatever, let's do a little rev. Fuck, never mind. I don't want to cause her alarm. That, that was a dick move. Don't do that. Don't ever do that. Gas for 50 Sheesh. <laughs> So we just got resistors. Shout out to the homie. I don't know where the hell he went. Oh, he right there in the red shirt. He gave me resistors for my airbag light on because that shit's on all the time. I'm going to make a separate video on that on how to turn off the airbag light if it works. If it doesn't, then it won't come out. All right, guys, we parked up here next to the Nismos and next to the bro. She's a news reporter, I swear to God. She knows everything around the block. I swear you don't see her, but she knows everything. So I just came for Boba, but now they're arguing in the back. They're like trying to make up. I don't know what they're trying to do, but. Man, I don't even know what's going on. Thank you. So I just got ditched by my girlfriend. Unsupportive, unsupportive. It's okay, we got ourselves a Boba. Milk tea, we're ready. Yo, look at these teddy bear wheels. Ain't that some shit? Pop the hood, pop the hood. Whoa, whoa, you don't want this fake honey. You really want this fake honey? So yeah, let's see it, let's see it, let's see it, let's see it. Fuck, so he has, a, he has a crush on him, but she don't like it. <laughs> Damn, that shit's sick, bruh. Oh! He stopped on his side speaker, or his front split, I don't know what it is. He's gone, is that in Texas? Guy, guy got it, bro, on camera, bro. I'm gonna show this to your lawyer right now. Hey, 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 what happened? Hey, hey. Put it away, put it away, put it away. Dude, that's major damage right there. Shit! 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 What? What's what the hell? What? Four minutes of a drive. Hey, bro, slide over so I can beat you at beer pong, bro. No, you okay. have to be on slide. Bro, last time EJ pulled up, he drank all the Henny. And I'm gonna tell you this now. <laughs> yeah, I just Drake, played like, beer pong for minutes. Ago. I gave him like, like half of it. He's like, all I gotta say. Someone didn't take still, their shot. We still got more. Someone did not take their shot. It, like when we're cleaning up, I just what they fighting, fighting about? Though, because someone didn't take their shot. We're fighting about how Alex. I'm the go. Alex was a pussy. Alex was a pussy. Live, ladies and gentlemen. Sheesh! Damn, they're money. I live deep, deep over there. 